Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 17th, 2024. Well, my goodness, yesterday we had quite the bullish run, really stretching indexes higher and really pushing the limits of um, our T2122 indicator. So what does that mean for the day? Well, let's take a look. We had um, overnight Asian markets had kind of a rough night. They got a briefing from the housing minister um, about real estate and things like that in China. And um, after that briefing, their uh, property stocks dropped by almost 8%, pretty sharp decline. So Shanghai, was down 1.05%. That also pushed Hong Kong into a little bit of selling, down 1.02%. Um, India was down, um, South Korea was down, uh, the Nikkei was down, uh, Taiwan was uh, pretty flat, and um, Australian markets just a little bit higher up by 0.86%, so kind of a rough night there. Um, however, if we take a look across the pond here, the European markets are really happy this morning, decidedly bullish, looking good, led by um, bank gains, and of course, they are looking ahead to another rate uh, cut decision by the ECB today. So right now the DAX is up 0.77%, FTSE up 0.32% and the CAC up 1.6%. And then if we take a look here at U.S. futures, well, a little bit of a mix. Dow futures down just slightly, 0.06%. S&P futures up, but relatively flat, 0.40%. And NASDAQ futures up 0.82%. Trying to really get something going here in the QQQ and working to reach out there for some of those high prints in the market. Market. If we take a look at um, our bonds this morning, well, doggone it, bonds just are not relieving or easing pressure. The market is just at this point in time having a great time ignoring it, but our two year bonds um, holding in there from the close of yesterday at 3.95, but our 10 year bonds have moved up a tenth from the close yesterday to 4.03, and the 30 year bonds have moved to 4.31%. So a little bit of pushing around here in the bonds that we'll want to be keeping an eye on because um, we cannot um, have perpetually rising rates and a market zooming to the upside. Something's going to break. If we take a look at um, oil prices here this morning, oil prices are moving just ever so slightly lower and they've been bouncing around here. Right now, um, they've been down all morning and I just looked, at, um, oil futures are now up about two cents. So trying to push up, we, we are at um, 70.42, uh, barrel in oil futures. Brent is um, still showing pretty flat here at 74.19 a barrel. We've got natural gas that has just been zooming to the downside here, trying to catch a little bit of a bounce in the pre-market after falling through a little bit of price support in here on um, UNG. So keep an eye on that. Then if we take a look at our precious metals, well, pretty interesting stuff going on here in the metals. If we look at gold, gold surging back up. This is another sign that the market is a lot more worried or uh, people are a lot more worried about inflation than the market itself is and that something is going to have to give here before too long. Gold zooming up over $2,700 an ounce here this morning. Right now up $11.70 an ounce in the futures. Um, we also have silver 
just a teeny tiny bit lower here this morning um, gap down um, but it is pushing up at the moment trying to get into the green so keep an eye on now I'm looking at silver futures but trying to get uh, moving up in here uh, copper copper has been a little bit problematic um, uh, pushing up and down and this morning we're down just a little bit um, we had a good move yesterday up but now back down testing some support levels platinum and palladium are higher this morning as well if we take a look at those cryptos well cryptos um, after several days of real zooming moves to um, the upside we see uh, bito here taking just a little bit of a rest here this morning right now bitcoin down 495 dollars a coin um 0.88 percent ether down 2.42 uh, dollars a coin, uh, 0.09 percent on that. But there are um, XRP, Litecoin, things like that are up this morning. So a little bit of a mix in those. We'll also want to be keeping a pretty close eye on the U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar continued to surge higher yesterday. I think there's some bad prints in this candle because it didn't look like that yesterday. But watch that closely because right now um, we've got U.S. dollar moving higher in the futures up 32.8 cents continuing to move up. We're breaking through this resistance here in the chart really adding pressure to a lot of places of the market. And it's interesting that we have, well, you know, fueled on the hype of earnings. We just have no concern. We're absolutely ignoring this for the moment in the market itself. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Hey, I just want to give everyone a reminder that tomorrow there will not be a morning market prep. I have to take off um, early in the morning. I've got to take a, um, a quick trip. Um, so there will not be a morning market prep tomorrow morning. I apologize about that. Um, it's just unavoidable. There's nothing I can do about it. So please forgive me on that. If um, you uh, take a look at the diamonds here um, on that chart, remember we want to look at these charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be. Try to remove that bias, but there's no way that you can look at this and see a bearish chart. This is a very, very bullish chart continuing to move to the upside and a big stretch, a nice bullish pattern setting up here in that. And we're trying to push just a little bit here um, this morning to see if we can move it along even more. So keep a, an eye on that. Um, the diamonds didn't make a new record high yesterday, but the Dow squeaked out a new record high, the second one of this week, as we continue to stretch and stretch here in this market. We're still running in that upside trend. Every reason to believe blue sky highs and more blue sky highs are on the way. Now, if the bears were to get inspired here today by some of the data, and we've got a lot of data coming our way then I would look for that possibility of that pushback and if we were to push back into these levels right in here might find a little tiny bit of support there if we break out but if we push even further down I would watch this area here for the next test and then beyond that we've got our upside trend that could hold us and some of this price action in here a very strong price support here in the diamonds down in there but breaking below there um, as I've said before that would probably raise some fear and one of the things that I am concerned about is we're getting so overly extended to the upside if it does snap and I'm not saying it will but if it does snap I would be prepared for a pretty substantial move to the downside if those bears get going so watch carefully for that possibility and if we take a look at the spy SPY Nice day yesterday, pushing on up. Couldn't get up there enough to, um, you know, get through this big black candle. So this morning, it's one of the things we've been seeing a lot 
we can't get enough momentum to do it overnight so or during the day so we do it overnight and we're getting a nice big gap up here this morning trying to push us up through here to new record highs in the spy so we may have those here at the open and just remember anything beyond that point we could be looking at uh, blue sky highs and who knows where that would end so anything above here we're free and clear to the upside now if the bears were to find inspiration i'd look for some uh pullback into here some price support into that area just a little resting pullback in there wouldn't hurt us at all um, however if we go a little bit further than that i think we're probably going to be testing this upside trend and then of course we've got a good area of price support in here as well that could hold us from uh, moving down too sharply it uh, once again it would be a break of that area that would probably raise some fear and because we are so elevated i do want everyone to um, just kind of keep in mind if we do turn lower the the rush to take profits could happen quickly so just make sure you're prepared for that. Raise your stops, be careful in this market, and try not to overly chase to the upside. I would avoid it altogether, honestly, with the condition that we're in right now. And then if we look at QQQ, QQQ also tried to make a move up yesterday, just kind of failed to get up there and turn that green on the day. So we do it overnight. Um, the big pump in the overnight pushing us up, trying to gap us higher here. We'll see if we can push through this area of price resistance here today. And if we can get up through here, then I would look for a retest right up into here um, and see if we can break through there. Breaking through there, then we have that opportunity to come up here and test the all-time highs here in the market and possibly some breakout. Boy, they're pushing hard on that this morning, trying to make something like that occur. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration here today, this could be critical because a reversal in here could potentially create that lower high in the market. So watch that carefully. If the bears were to push back, we might find some support right down in here. And then breaking below that area, well, we're probably coming back into this trend, a little bit of price support right in there. Um, pushing on down beyond that point, we might find a floor in here that could hold us. And by the way, that floor in here is actually a good, strong floor um, on the QQQ. So if we push down into there, we'd have some pretty darn good support in that chart. It would be pushing below there that I think would raise some fear in the market. And of course, any time we create where we have a high and then create a lower high, that's a problem as well technically so watch for that but right now everything um, all signs point to an upside move and then if we look at iwm iwm continued to stretch big to the upside yesterday this morning you can see little pop and drop in the pre-market here but what we've done is we've pushed up through this area here which is really important we this is the first time since all the way over into here um, july that we have been able to break through that resistance and actually close above that area in the chart so very bullish on that move if the uh, bulls continue to find inspiration let's look for that stretch up into here which would be a test of these 2021 highs in this um, consolidation area of iwm now if the bears were to find inspiration here on the day then i would look for a pullback in here that could hold that support if it holds that support no harm no foul we're in really good shape but if it breaks back down, that might raise a little bit of worry. There's some support right in here that we could grab onto, but a failure up here right now could be just a little bit of worry. Beyond that point, I would say down in here, and then of course, right back down to this level if the bears were to really take off um, in the chart, but there's nothing in that chart right now that says that. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX had a nice little pullback yesterday 
in that chart you can see um, almost what yeah, I'm gonna call it a bearish engulfing candle and what we have in here black candle white candle black candle I call that an Oreo cookie pattern and they tend to have that follow through to the downside so if that is the case if we can follow through to the downside we may finally break this support level here in um, the the VIX pushing us back down into some of these areas of price support in here and relieving some of that pressure still hovering in there around those 20 handles here on the VIX it does raise some concern and it, and it is really showing that that pressure in the bond market and what we're seeing in gold and the dollar rise is adding some worry here in the market so pay a close attention to that but pushing down into here certainly would start to relieve that pressure um, overall now if the bears were to find inspiration here pushing up first need to get through this little area here break up through there and then we might be up here testing this um, um, high point in the chart and of course breaking through there um, we would see some substantial fear probably coming into the market so watch that if that were to occur and then if we take a look at our t20s our biggest uh, potential concern here in the t20s i think is t2122 we closed up at 95.22 and we're trying to gap higher this morning we're going to stretch this rubber band right to the limit here it looks like we start getting up there in that 97 98 remember guys we cannot this will never go above 100 can't do it so um, we're reaching that limit so once again just that warning out there be careful not to chase raise those stops if we start to tumble and remember we've got a lot of data today that certainly could create that volatility if we start to tumble i would look for a run for the door profit taking could come in pretty fast in that circumstance so we've got this little teeny tiny upside potential that we've got some room here in the market and then of course um, a big downside potential so watch carefully for that possibility if we happen to stumble at all and if we take a look at our t2108 well all we can see here in t2108 is really strong bullishness the bulls are definitely in control we pushed up hard yesterday we're up at about 64 percent of the stocks above their 40-day moving average you will want to keep in mind that we're coming into some resistance up here that we have been struggling with before up there around 70 so watch that carefully if we continue to stretch up there we might be getting a little bit frothy but once we start getting up here into that mid 75 and 80 range that's when we get extremely frothy and we will be looking for a pullback if that gets up that high if this resistance here holds well maybe we ease that pressure here pretty quickly but up in here watch for the big pullback if we take a look at t2107 t2107 also stretching up here looking good bulls are definitely in control now one thing's different here about t2107 when we are up here in these mid 65 areas we're getting very very frothy in t2107 so kind of keep that in mind if we push up into here we're really reaching that extreme area of t2107 and our t2101 did see a nice increase in breadth yesterday so pushing through there was a big amount of energy pushing on up on that bullish wave so you got to give that up to the bulls they are in control and they are very happy but at the same time maybe um, ignoring um, some big warning signs out there of some issues and i'm not sure which one is going to break first the bond market or this i'm still i'm honestly surprised that we continue to ignore that situation as the dollar continues to zoom to the upside not a normal situation here for the market at all so just be aware and be prepared if we take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today well our economic calendar we've got a busy one in here we're going to get jobless claims this morning they're expecting 260,000 a little bit of an increase on those claims here today we've got retail sales 
excuse me, consensus is expecting those to improve here on the retail sales numbers here today. So watch that. We're going to get a Philly Fed manufacturing number. They're looking for that to improve to a 3.0. Let's hope this doesn't follow the line of the Empire State, which really collapsed hard um, earlier this week. We ignored it, but collapsed hard. We don't care about manufacturing as long as AI is doing well. And if we take a look at industrial production, industrial production, they're looking for all of those numbers to decline slightly in industrial production. We've got business inventories, housing market index. They're saying in here the housing market index should increase. So prices in housing continue to go up. And um, petroleum status report and natural gas report, which we usually don't have those on the same day. They really tossed a great big bunch of things into the mix today. We've got Goolsby speaking, and we've got Treasury International and Fed balance sheet here to be paying attention to. Remember, as you plan forward into Friday, we're going to get housing starts and permits, a big bunch of Fed speak in here, and a Baker Hughes rig count. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar here for today and our earnings um, we do have quite a few reports in here to be paying attention to um, for today so keeping in mind let's um, take a look at what we've got going um, I'm gonna run through these really well I'll, I'll tell you what guys I'm just gonna give you a few of the notables because it's gonna take too long we've got stocks like uh, BMI this morning uh, we'll be reporting um, H band will be in here. We've got IIIN that will be reporting. We've got uh, Mankind in here or Manpower uh, reporting today. Uh, Travelers, Travelers Insurance reporting. Uh, WBS is on that list here today. And then this afternoon, um, probably our biggest notable. Um, is going to be Netflix. We'll be per reporting this afternoon. Keep an eye on that. We've got CCK, ISRG will be in there. Um, WD40 will be reporting. So um, there's quite a few, well, a handful here this afternoon um, to be reporting. So make sure you click the link below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list of notables. And remember, I'm with me not being able to do a report tomorrow. We've got, um, we've got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. We've got about nine or ten notables for tomorrow that will be before the bell um, and no reports after the bell tomorrow. Um, so on Friday. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, um, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, do me that favor. Click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that, who shares these videos out on your social media feed, um, and who continues to support the, the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link. You guys are truly awesome. Let's take a look at some of these stocks. And remember, everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You've got to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market, particularly when we're so stretched to one side. Um, that break could occur at any time. So make sure you're planning carefully and protecting yourself, protecting those profits if that were to occur. Follow your rules, your guidelines. Never blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. First off, one of the things that's really been interesting to me, I'm going to go to retail holders. Take a look at retail holders in here. I don't know what has gotten into the retail holders, but my goodness, a big stretch here. So if you look across 
um, some of these stocks, um, there are in the retail side of things, we've got a major mix. Look at this AZO falling apart in here, while at the same time, tractor supply showing lots and lots of bullishness in that chart, trying to push up. And there are a lot of retail stocks pushing to the upside. Uh, trying to get something going here. So retail really push up. Take a look at Home Depot and Lowe's, really strong in here. So um, watch those closely. We're seeing Walmart trying to push up here to all time highs. Keep an eye on that retail, um, which is a surprise to me with the condition of the consumers right now, but they're really pushing here in retail. Um, also, other places to be um, paying attention to um, is the financials. My goodness, the financials have just been ripping here to the upside, pushing up on those bank earnings, just tearing it up. So any rest or pullback in here on those financials looking good, even those like BAC that that uh, Warren Buffett sold his basically his entire position on BAC and just tearing it to the upside here. Um, everything is looking good. And if we look at um, regional banks, regional banks breaking out up here, really pushing through. Um, it's as if um, all of these issues and problems of commercial real estate, none of it matters um, anymore. We're just pushing like crazy in these banks to the upside. So maybe the market's right on this. I'm still a little bit nervous on these, but watch that closely. And then if we take a look at other areas of the market, and you guys have seen these stocks before that um, just continue to do really, really well, take a look at Mickey D's. Mickey D's is a consumer cyclical sector, um, kind of almost in that defensive sector, just tearing it up here at McDonald's on that breakout here, looking good in that chart, and every reason to believe that could continue to stretch on up in this trend. I would keep a close eye on that. Um, as you guys know, I've been keeping an eye on Roku. Tried to go yesterday, just couldn't quite get her done. Popped up and pulled back, but still in this very, very bullish pattern with the bullishness of the market. If that pops through, then look for that gap up here that could be filled in that chart. Um, plenty of potential there. Take a look at some of the pay systems out there. Visa just had a zooming day yesterday. Just took off like a rocket ship, pushing up here to these recent resistance highs. Question is, will it be able to follow through? But if we look at MasterCard, MasterCard's very, staying very strong. The SQ that I currently hold, pushing on up. I've got no complaints about that. I'll tell you, moving through, testing some of this resistance and popping on through there on SQ. I wouldn't want to chase it here. A little rest or pullback might um, set up an opportunity, but pay systems really getting a huge surge to the upside. Even things like um, PayPal. I also hold PayPal holding in there nice resting but not giving up at all trying to hold and break through this resistance here in the chart so watch those carefully um, they may have more upside potential to come take a look at as all the tech seems to be hurrying as much as they can to put together some deals for um, nuclear power um, we are seeing some really good moves in uranium um, take a look at this. CCJ had a huge move after that announcement that Amazon is working on building portable reactors. So um, keep an eye on this. Really breaking higher if we break through some of this resistance up here. Well, you'll see there's blue sky above there in CCJ. And pretty much anywhere you go, I hold um, UEC. And that's also pushing higher here, stretching through some resistance and possibly breaking out. You are a uh, very, very strong trying to push out. So lots of these uh, uranium plays in here would be something to pay attention to. And what's interesting is that these are zooming to the upside even as the dollar gets stronger, which is not normal. Normally, when the dollar strengthens, you see these weaken. So something may break in here eventually, but watch that closely as we've got this massive excitement 
about all of these tech companies racing to build enough energy to keep their um, AI dreams um, flowing strong. So watch them closely. Um, take a look at um, uh, Shopify. Shopify trying still to break through this resistance with the bullishness of the market. There's every reason to believe that could pop up, maybe fill this gap up here and come back up try to test some of those resistance highs in the chart. Uh, DoorDash continues to look very good. Popped up, ran into this next level of resistance up here, but not backing off. Just nice little rest and consolidation. I'd look for that next opportunity for that to pop on through as well. So lots of bullish charts here in the market to be paying attention to. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Apologize I won't be able to do a market prep tomorrow, but I sure everyone will do just fine without it y'all take care be safe and i'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning wish you all the best